Well, more firms are preparing for a continued wave of institutional adoption across crypto products. Blockstream just launched an asset management division, along with three fully regulated institutional grade Bitcoin investment funds. Blockstream Chief Investment Officer Sean Bill joins us from Miami to explain. Sean, good to see you today. Yes. Why was this the right time for this launch? Well, I think uh, like your previous guest, Katarina's uh, kind of set the table. I mean, with the change in uh, the approach of the administration, we think that this is a great time to be launching these strategies. I think um, trying to do it earlier would have been more challenging. And, you know, hats off to Pantera for jumping in there early and kind of blazing a path. Uh, but we think uh, that now is a great time to get in and start you know, building more institutional quality products for the market. Uh, you know, Sean, I think it's interesting that we uh, preface this segment with some quotes from Larry Fink. Uh, I'm wondering, you, you know, how big of uh, increased competition do you expect from companies like BlackRock and other big players in the traditional finance space, given this new uh, regime we're under? I mean, is are you sort of gearing up for competition from the traditional players uh, now that the, the reins are kind of a lot looser on, on the traditional finance industry? Yeah, no, I think that the traditional players that you see out there are going to be, you know, they're going to have the core holdings and the core products that you build a strategy around. So you have your ETFs, your passive, you know, exposure, and then they're going to look to hedge funds like ours to add active management that kind of complements that. So kind of a core and satellite type approach. So I would expect Bitwise, BlackRock, and all those folks to be very successful on the path they're on. And I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to unlock, you know, different bottlenecks in the market that we've seen. And we're trying to solve our own problems as at Blockstream uh, by creating these products. So we've got three of them coming up. Uh, you know, we have a yield product that we're, we're launching to provide uh, like a money market return for Bitcoin hodlers or corporate treasuries that have Bitcoin treasuries. We think that's going to be a great product for them. We've got a income product for those folks that maybe aren't quite mm -hmm. yet to, they might be crypto curious, but not quite ready to embrace the volatility of the underlying principal risk of Bitcoin. And so there we're looking at making asset based loans uh, that are secured by Bitcoin. I right. think that's going to be a really great market to unlock that Bitcoin, that captive Bitcoin. Well, let's talk about a couple of those. So the, the, the yield fund uh, will offer Bitcoin holders the opportunity to generate modest, low risk returns on their Bitcoin holdings. And the Bitcoin income fund allows Bitcoin holders to borrow against their Bitcoin holdings and Bitcoin Correct. serves as collateral against the loan. When I read descriptions like that, I think of BlockFi and the blow mm -hmm. up back in, wow, yeah. just over two years ago, back yeah. in the fall of 2022. How do you yes. avoid, how do you, how do you guys avoid a situation like that if we do see a decline in the price of Bitcoin? Yeah, no, so uh, we have developed technology at Blockstream that's being more adopted more recently by some of the custodian banks for multi-sig collaborative custody. So for example, if you are micro strategies and you're sitting on a ton of Bitcoin and you say, I want to borrow whatever, $100 million against that, and I'm gonna collateralize a 50% LTV, we have the technology where we can, we can basically make that loan to micro strategies directly, the two of us, with a third party custodian as a neutral party if there's any conflict or any disagreement about the terms of the loan so that it never hits an exchange. It's never, it's never on Coinbase or on you know, Binance or any of the other exchanges. It's done off exchange and stays on the blockchain. You know, Sean, I wonder if you could tell us uh, what type of yields uh, investors could expect from that yield fund and how it's being generated and really, how safe is it? You know, when you talk about a, a money market mutual fund, we're talking about a product that, you know, that share is always worth one dollar. Um, can you yeah. really guarantee that sort of stability in this type of fund? Well, we're not going to guarantee anything, right, because it is, uh, it is not a money market fund per se, but yeah. it is a yield fund for those that hold Bitcoin. And you can generate that yield in several different ways. Uh, you know, one is, you know, lending the Bitcoin to the ETP industry, which is, you know, the creation of the ETFs has created a significant demand for Bitcoin to borrow. Uh, and then, you know, that's, that's one market. You know, the other is you can actually have a, a loan against the collateralized Bitcoin, Bitcoin and invest it in treasuries and create a yield. So, so we think there are ways to do that where you can generate a 2 to 4% return on the Bitcoin that's held in the account there for the hodlers or the crypto mm -hmm. treasuries. And then on the income fund, you know, as I was describing, we think that's more like a eight to twelve percent 
type of yield market. Blockstream Sean Bill joining us from our Miami offices where I just looked at 75 degrees <laughs> out there in <laughs> Miami. Nice. Bill, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us.